Yeah, so here's where we left off. So now we are ready to copy um, that smaller knob over. Once you're happy with that style of that thing, yeah, let's copy that over. So uh, I guess we still, or we already have a group. So um, yeah, if you select the object and you want to go to the group, hit the up arrow key on your keyboard, and then you are going to the group. I mean, you could go here to the outliner and select the group here, but yeah, it's uh, quicker if you're using the up arrow key on your keyboard. Okay, so let me duplicate that guy. So this one here um, is uh, rotated negative uh, 28 degrees in Y. So if you hit Control D, you only have to rotate that 28 degrees in Y. And there you go. There's our copy. So we got all the knobs in place. And let's now take care about, um, if I let me turn on that layer here um, with that logo. So under that, or logo here below that logo there are uh, three kind of dots um, so let's create that uh, create a polygon cylinder rotate that guy 90 degrees in Z and then let's bring that guy somewhere where we need it and let's uh, change the subdivision caps to something like three and then let's delete um, the faces on the bottom here so delete all of the bottom faces and delete those. And now we can take this guy and scale it down. And scale it down here in this direction. And now let's um, check it out from the side view. So it's sitting somewhere, somewhere here. It has to be smaller. Something like that. So there's one bigger dot and two smaller dots on both sides. So let's check that out. Let's uh, smooth that guy out. Maybe we scale it in a bit more and bring it into position. Okay, so I want this sticking out as much as uh, the logo. So let me scale it down a bit more. And it uh, can intersect with that knob. Like that. Okay. I think I'm going with this one. Let, maybe let me move that uh, logo down a bit more. Yeah. Okay, so now we take this one, go to the side view again, and let's uh, duplicate that guy. Uh, first, let me freeze the transforms and then hit Control D to du duplicate that. And let's scale it down. Check it out from the perspective view. Yeah, something like that. And now let's uh, duplicate that guy and move it um, so this is moved uh, in Z three point uh, point three seven seven. Hit Control D. Uh, it should be negative point three seven seven, like that. So check it out from the side view. It's looking good. Okay, so let's go in and um, create the pieces that are on the bottom side of that watch. So let me switch to Firefox. So if we take a look at that, uh, that image here, um, you see that ring here and the inside part. So yeah, let's take care about this thing here. So let me go back to Maya and let's create a polygon pipe again. And let's move it down here. And let's scale that guy up and scale it down and Y. Okay, something like that. <coughs> Bring it up. Okay. And what we can do now is uh, go here into the inputs and change the thickness. I'm just eyeballing it, so let me switch to Firefox. Look in here. 
okay at the size I think it can be a little bit thinner something like that okay I'm going with this one and now let's um, what we can do is let's select so double click on that edge loop here and then we just uh, move that down something like that and um, I think if we scale that down a bit more and then again select that edge here and move it down a bit check it from the side view okay let's um, select the object here and what we can do is we can delete all the faces that are on top here so select all of those top faces control shift select those and then hit control and deselect all of those so that you have all the top faces selected as you can see barely you can see here but delete those we don't need those and now if we select that guy and we smooth that so we definitely have to put in some uh, edge loops here so let's insert one here and one there and one there so that we give um, every edge a little bit more definition and put in one here and one down there so now let's uh, check that out how that looks if we smooth that guy <coughs> so if we compare that to the image uh, on the web browser okay that's looking good so far so let's move um, that ring that we just created um, up and Y so that it uh, comes close or uh, connects to that main case like that let's check it out how it looks from the perspective okay I think that's that's good enough all right so in the next video we take care about that other piece uh, that's sitting inside here and yeah when we're done with that we uh, will start to model that wristband here okay so see you in the next video